Today we're looking at how to use your laptop as a second monitor and we're going to connect them wirelessly and we'll be using a Lenovo desktop here as you can see as well as a Lenovo laptop here. Now I use this setup from time to time because the laptop sits in the cupboard quite often and it's used only when I go out so I tend to use it as a second monitor quite frequently because I like to use the desktop uh, with its dedicated keyboard, its dedicated mouse, its setup etc so I can sort of connect to this easily. Now using this type of setup where you connect by something called Miracast is pretty straightforward to set up. The other things I like about it is that it doesn't sort of create loads of clutter because all you need is the power cable for example as in this demonstration which I'm showing you today and basically once you've got everything set up in terms of the sort of the, the settings which I'll be going through in a moment you don't sort of need um, Wi-Fi to connect the two it's a direct connection between the computers which is why you sort of which I find it good to use so you just have to make sure that basically there are certain things in place and certain settings sort of selected so I'll demonstrate that in a moment but if you're new to this channel and you want help solving your tech related questions like this and on other types of tech start now by subscribing to our channel okay so let's jump into the detail right now and look at how to use your laptop as a second monitor and connect wirelessly so we're going to go through how to actually use your laptop as a second monitor in a moment but there's initially a first really important point we need to address and you need to make sure that both your sort of computers so like in our case the desktop and the laptop can support something called Miracast now generally Microsoft includes Miracast on its devices and that started around about Windows 8.1 and continuing to Windows 10 and the majority of modern devices have this and they run Miracast so one way to check is if you if you look at the computer here the laptop if you click on the bottom right hand corner in the notification section and click connect you will notice that it says connect searching for wireless display and audio devices okay so it will tell you there normally if the, the device is available but also if you can connect to Miracast or not and if you can't for example I took this from my old laptop on the connect point it says your PC or mobile device doesn't support Miracast so it can't project wirelessly so basically if your device doesn't support Miracast you won't be able to do what we're doing in this video today but it's really important you check both if you like computers can support Miracast and if they can then you sort of you should be able to use your laptop as a second monitor okay so let's just shut that down okay so once that's established what you need to do is to make sure that this computer is set up so it can actually be used to project as a or if you like to project as a second monitor so in our case from the desktop computer here to the laptop computer here and this is something I've, I've read quite a lot about I've looked at quite a lot of videos and this is something which people quite often overlook when demonstrating this video they just assume that it's all set up but quite often the computer is not ready to sort of accept sort of a, a connection where you can actually project it wirelessly to it so we're going to demonstrate that now there's two sort of two steps you need to check first before we actually project the laptop from uh, sorry project the desktop onto the laptop sort of screen so if you go down to the settings and this is some setting tweaks we need to make so if you go down to the bottom left hand search bar and type apps and go into apps and features okay so under apps and features there's an option called optional features if you click on that now in order for the sort of the the laptop to be able to be used to sort of as part of the the, the sort of the setup here as a wireless monitor what you need to do is to make sure that wireless is installed and as I said it's quite often not so if you type it in there it doesn't come up then that indicates that it's not okay so what you need to do is go into add a feature at the top and in here if you type wireless and this wireless adapter basically if you tick it it enables you to sort of turn this into a wireless display okay and it's not installed at the moment so it won't work so if we tick that and we press install okay and it generally takes a couple of minutes to install and it will give you the progress here on the bar and by the way in order to do this you need to have a wi-fi or a sort of a connection to the internet so it can actually download this sort of feature
and it's just finishing off now. It won't be much longer. Okay, so when it's installed, that is great. So the wireless display sort of app has been added, or the feature has been added to this laptop computer. Okay, so we've checked that the computers can work with Miracast. You've downloaded the wireless display here. There's just one other thing you need to do before we actually go ahead and sort of show you how to actually use the laptop as a second monitor. So again, it's setting. So if you're going to the search bar and if you type in project, okay and you need to go into projection settings now this is really crucial again if this isn't set up correctly it won't work and what you'll notice is if for some reason you've not been able to download the wireless sort of optional display optional feature or you've gone straight into this first these will all be grayed out okay so project into this pc project your windows phone to this screen and use its keyboard mouse and other devices okay that's fine so some windows and android devices can project when you say it's okay so you need to check whether it's available everywhere on secure networks available everywhere or always off i always keep it off if i'm sort of not using it as a second screen but today i'm going to put available everywhere on secured on the secure networks and when it says ask to project to this pc you can ask first time only or every time a connection is requested i just through habit ask every time a connection is requested and you can also ask it to sort of you can also require a pin for pairing so you can say never first time or always or again i always select always just to be on the safe side and sort of more security to be fair with you and this pc this last point can be discovered for projection only when it's plugged into a power source you can select that on or off i keep it charging all the time that's entirely up to you what you do with that so once that's all set you are good to go and we are now ready to project from the desktop to the laptop and use that as a second screen so once we've done all that, if we go back to the desktop computer and we're going to kit, sort of get everything set up now so we can use this as a second laptop, the process of actually projecting to it. So if you go to the bottom right hand corner and click in the notifications area here, click connect and it will say searching for a wireless display and audio devices. So it should appear here very shortly. And when it appears, we just click on it and follow the on-screen instructions. There we go, laptop which is then the computer, it will ask you to enter a pin for the device on the host computer. On the laptop, it's saying connect the tech is attempt to project. You can allow once, always allow block once, etc. So the purpose is today we're going to put allow once. So if we click OK, it will then give us a pin number to enter here. So 4252307, OK? And if you click connect in there, it will say connecting to your device and if it's successfully connected it will say connected to your device now just before we go ahead and demonstrate this just the sort of settings at the top here this controls sort of the connection here so if you want to disconnect press there there are some settings you can have you can have gaming um, working watching videos for example i'm just going to select working for purposes of today okay so if we click on let's say for example do some research work got microsoft word so you can drag that across to the left hand screen so that's now being used as a second monitor and if we then sort of make that bigger there that's absolutely fine okay so i ignore that keyboard just use that as a monitor and now i use the keyboard on here okay just one other thing to sort of point out is if you go into display settings if for some reason there's a problem in terms of the setup here you can go into display rearrange your display so you identify display one and two accordingly on the screen okay so they're set up correctly and if you go down to multiple displays you can duplicate them i'm not sure why you'd want to duplicate them because you'd want to use this additional display hence we're extending these displays you can show only in one or two as well but to, for the purposes of today we're going to extend these displays okay and that is all set up correctly if for some reason you're going on this this setup here if you're going to the left of the screen it won't move on to your laptop it could be that it's set up this sort of the, the the arrangement of displays is incorrect i've included a link on screen now if you want to check that out which will show you how to rearrange your displays but if you need to do that or whether you're sort of set up on or ready to go now you can use this as a second monitor the laptop and when you're finished if you just press disconnect and that is it and it goes back to sort of two individual 
computers as you can see there. I've created some of the PC related videos for you. Maybe you want to connect your laptop to the TV using a hardwired HDMI cable or maybe you have an old monitor and I'll show you how to actually connect that to your laptop using a HDMI to VGA converter. You can click on the links appearing on screen now. But many thanks for watching our video today on how to use your laptop as a second monitor. We'll see you on the next video.